We're here with uh, WA Diamond striker as well as Hockey Roos as well. She is none other than Ash Nelson. Ash, right here, 15 years ago, Australia won a gold medal, the Hockey Roos. Yes. Um, how old were you and what were you doing? Oh, I actually, unfortunately, um, can't really remember even watching the game at that stage. I think when I was growing up, I never really realised that hockey was an option to, to play. So looking back on it now, it was very inspiring. But yeah, I think I was just out on the farm playing around somewhere back then. What sort of farm do you have? Uh, well, we used to have um, sheep uh, and a lot of wheat, canola, that kind of thing. So in the hometown of Wagen. Can you uh, give us your best sheep impression? <laughs> 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 Pretty much like that. <laughs> Bar M U. <laughs> now, um, who was your hero growing up as far as hockey goes? Uh, well, like I said, I probably didn't really understand or know Mossy. about hockey. Not you, Mossy. So, yeah, um, so as far as hockey goes, I probably didn't have a, a bit of an icon until um, I was about 16 years of age. And I guess um, as I started developing a little bit more, I, I really liked watching, you know, Nikki Hudson, um, Susie Fortner coming through, who has our Diamonds coach now. So, um, yeah, there's always a few inspirational players to look at. Now as far as on the hockey field we're here we're in the D um, what's been your greatest experience on a hockey field? Um, looking back probably um, the meeting you guys at Commonwealth ah, Games was yes. a, a highlight yes. clearly. Yeah. Um, I remember you actually had um, swollen ankles a bit of cankles on the uh, plane. I did have swollen cankles on the plane. Do you buy to, uh, to Glasgow will do that to you Mossy? Yeah exactly that was a long flight wasn't it so um, that's how we actually all met on the plane um, but yeah that Commonwealth Games was amazing as well to win in the fashion that that we did um, that's definitely a, a highlight so um, beating England and New Zealand at the Com Games, always a highlight. Now, Ash, I saw your Instagram yesterday and a particularly entertaining <laughs> video of the WA Diamonds dancing yes. in the apartment. Now, I want to know a uh, little bit about dancing and singing. First of all, I'll go to the singing. Um, what's your favourite pre-game song? I read a little article just this morning, actually. Right. So, we'll see. And would you like to sing a little bit of it? Um, well, I'm definitely not known for my uh, choice in music, that's for sure. My friend had a wedding and she let me choose one song, that was all <laughs> I actually got. And so I always like a power ballad, so Rach Lynch and I generally love Celine Dion. Ah. Um, and, you know, usually it's something like Titanic. And it goes a little something like? <laughs> a few bars. It goes a little something like this. <laughs> Near, far, wherever <laughs> you are. <laughs> And that is horrific, oh, I know. Um, no, no, no. I'm inspired. It sounds better in the change room with the acoustics out here. Not could, so good. Could we see, next time you put one in the back of the net, Ash, you can go over to the corner flag here and give it a bit of near far everywhere you are <laughs> to the corner flag? Yeah, I just need to have someone there with me so we can do the Titanic right, pose oh, as that's well. Your, so. That's your challenge. Yeah, exactly. Challenge. I don't think I'll have any teammates celebrating <laughs> with me, unfortunately. Now, <laughs> moving on to the dancing, like I said, some very powerful moves being shown on the balcony of the apartment. Yes. Yeah, so you can check it out on Instagram. But who would win a dance-off in the WA Diamonds? It looks like it would be pretty hotly contested. It would be pretty hotly contested. Um, our dance-off is actually who can dance the worst, hence why the girls were yes. going for it yesterday. Yes. But we actually have one really talented girl that can dance. Uh, her name is Erin uh, Flynn, so we need to probably get an Instagram Instagram clip of her. We call her Beyonce, the, the white Beyonce. Ah. Um, so I would back her in a dance-off, but definitely not Kate Denny after no. yesterday's moves. No, no. Well, well done, Kate. Keep working at it and uh, maybe you'll catch up soon. Now, um, social media, you're a bit of a guru out there. What's your favourite platform and what's your handle? Uh, so I love uh, a good Instagram, hence why I post mm -hmm. on that with the, the dancing. Um, so that's Nelson underscore Ashley and then I'm also on Twitter as well. So um, got Facebook, you name it, I've got it, but usually Twitter and Instagram. And you've got Blab now too. That's I've right. I've got Blab now. That was an interesting <laughs> uh, um, thing to do, but I, I really enjoyed that. It was a good setup. Hopefully not too scarred from some of the delays and no. technological hitches, well, but it's my been good. The technology was good that day, yeah. so I don't know how it would go if we were over in Argentina or something well, later. But <laughs> we might find out that. Well, let's have a, a selfie here. Your challenge is going to be to get that on social media. Beautiful. Right. You've got yeah. five minutes. I'll, that I'll probably get about ten likes. You won't, you won't get many. You should give it to Anna. She'd probably get a few more. <laughs> no. Well, Ash Nelson, thanks very much for joining us in the D with Mossy and Robbo. Thanks, guys. Cheers.